Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about something that a lot of us enjoy and I feel that we can definitely make a lot better at home. But you know, some of us don't live by a awesome or super great Thai restaurant. So I'm going to go ahead and do something special for y'all and hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to make some Pad Thai and show you that this is something that you can make at home that I feel can be 100% better than what you can go to the restaurant and buy and it's not that hard you know you just gotta get a simple things I try not to substitute some of this stuff but most of the stuff you can find at your local Asian market so let's get it going guys <laughs> So like always, the first thing we gotta get going, you gotta get some of these plots going. So here is everything you're gonna need for the tamarind sauce or pad thai sauce. This is a tamarind paste, you're gonna take boiling water, you gotta throw it in there, you're gonna use about two ounces of tamarind paste, and then you're gonna go ahead and mash this up until it comes hydrated, and it starts to look kinda like a, I don't even, want, I don't even know what you wanna call that, oop, diarrhea, but anyway. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that mashed up a little bit. And once that happens, we're gonna go and run this through a strainer so we can get all the little chunkiness out of here. Now that we've got everything smoothed out of here, we're going to go and start making our Pad Thai sauce. So we're going to use fish sauce, and you're going to use soy sauce. Uh, here, it's about three tablespoons of each, but uh, if you have some Thai sweet soy sauce, which you look for, I couldn't find it, but any soy sauce would do. We're going to take palm sugar. Here, um, you should pretty much find this at any Asian market. Uh, it's really easy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and shred that in here. You're gonna go and give this a good mix up and we're gonna set this aside until we're ready to um, make our pad thai or start assembling our pad thai. Here we're going to go ahead and get our chicken ready. You can also use pork. I just used chicken because it was more ready, readily available to me. So here you're going to take your chicken and I sliced this thinly um, you know, because it gives it a good, uh, easier to cook and you want that good color on the outside. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and throw that into a bowl. Once we got, we got that into a bowl, we're gonna give that a good generous seasoning. Then we're gonna go hit it with some of that pad thai sauce, not all of it, just a little bit of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and use cornstarch here. I use uh, potato starch. It just gives it a better flavor than cornstarch. Uh, then once we got everything mixed, everything in there, we're gonna go ahead and give that a good mix up and we're gonna set that to the side until we're ready to cook. While we set that to the side, we're gonna go ahead and get our veggies ready. Here is all your veggies that I use. Feel free to use um, what you want. Here, I took the green onions and cut them in half. I set the green, I set the greens aside. We kept them whole. Uh, you don't want to cut them up because we're gonna throw them in at the end at the pad side. Then here, you're gonna slice up the whole green onion on the white side thinly, and we're gonna use this later for uh, when we go ahead and put everything together.
and we're gonna go ahead and take the green and red boys and gonna go ahead and we're gonna give those a thin slice here uh, I just did it this way because it makes it a little bit easier uh, and you have less waste this way so and it's easier to when we stem it out I forget what the actual word is but stem it out and we're gonna go ahead and press these flat just like this and pretty much just slice them uh, thinly because um, we're just gonna do a quick saute on these Normally, you want to use shallots here, but um, I forgot them while I was at the store, so I had an onion that I'm just going to use and uh, thinly slice it, um, pretty much as thin as possible on here, and then we're going to use uh, this with the garlic. Now it's time to move on to the garlic here. I used about a bowl and a half of garlic and then thinly sliced it and put that to the side, then I took a whole bundle of cilantro and give that a good little mince up then i went and moved on to my lemon boys or lime boys my bad obviously i don't know the difference between lemon and limes but we're gonna take the limes this is normally uh something that's always put on the side that you squeeze over um for pad thai and we're gonna just pretty much just quarter them and and cut them in half Now we're gonna take a wok. If you don't have a wok, use a pretty big uh, saute pan, but a wok works better here for the high sloping sides. We're gonna get that nice and hot to about medium to medium high. Uh, you're gonna use some high smoke point oil here because it's gonna be pretty hot if you don't, the oil's gonna start smoking. Here I used a greasy oil. Um, you don't wanna use like olive oil because it's a low smoke point. Um, avocado oil will work here too. Then we're gonna give those a nice saute and get a nice color on them. Then we're gonna set this to the side when they're gonna start making our pad thai. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here I took some uh, normal uh, peanuts. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these into the oven uh, at uh, about 275. We're gonna let these roast out until we get that nice oily texture from them. We're gonna go ahead and smash them up. So while we're gonna do everything together, we're gonna go ahead and start those. And then we're gonna take boiling water and throw it onto your rice noodles. Um, here, uh, these are medium sized rice noodles. You can pretty much let these soak for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're al dente. Now it's time to get everything going here. So here you're gonna take that same oil and you're gonna put your wok on high heat. Uh, you wanna get a nice amount in there. You're gonna go ahead and throw your garlic in there. And then I went to go ahead and threw some of the cilantro in there and you want to get that a nice little uh, fry in there when everything starts to turn a little bit golden brown. Those are onions. We're gonna let that cook and get a nice color to them. Uh, once we get a nice color on them, we're gonna go and throw our bell peppers in there. Once it's cooked for about three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and throw our rice noodles in there and get everything mixed up. When it got everything mixed up and heated up, we're gonna go ahead and throw our chicken in there. Got 
about three minutes of the rice noodles being in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw our chicken in there and give that a good mix up to make sure we get everything nice and uh, mixed up in there. Then we're gonna go and throw our pad thai sauce in there. Go ahead and throw all of it in there and make sure everything is incorporated. Once everything is incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and take our eggs and throw them bad boys in there and give that a nice mix up and saute and our pad thai is pretty much gonna be done, guys. So this pretty much is gonna wrap up the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out and with the whole YouTube algorithm and gets my videos seen more and so I can help more people here. So hopefully you guys had an awesome weekend and hopefully you guys have an awesome day and hopefully this shows you that pad thai can be made at home and it's pretty much to me better than most restaurants you're gonna go to. So. Catch you guys next time. Peace.